Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Bleach is going to have two more chapters, and that's it. It's done. So you're only going to hear Tate Kubo. Finest work for me two more times, and that's it. Because Bleach is going to be ending on the double issue of 36 and 37 for Shonen Jump. Now, the coming issue is going to be 35, and I was confused about this initially, because in the article in the box below on Crunchyroll, when they say the word double issue, I thought that they were talking about, like, Bleach getting, like, a double chapter, and then the final chapter was going to be August 1st, but no, 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 the way it works is that there's a double issue coming because there's some kind of holiday on the way or something like that, so they take two issues, they make it into one, and then that's your double issue. So, Bleach and Nisokoi are going to end on the same double issue of 36 and 37, and I think they're going to get fully colored chapters, which is the same thing as Naruto, because Naruto in chapter 700, it was a fully colored chapter. So Bleach is going to follow suit in that regards, and Nisokoi, I'm assuming as well, listen, I, I don't read Nisokoi, all right? So I'm not a Nisokoi fan, I don't care about it, in all honesty. But that's going to be ending on the same issue as Bleach. So first of all, number one, this was announced like a month, not a month ago, but at the beginning of this month, July, that Bleach had roughly about five more chapters left. And that was around chapter 680 of Bleach. So no surprise, right now it's what, uh, July 27, uh, two more chapters left. So this follows suit of Naruto and Assassination Classroom. And since it's getting, as far as I understand, a fully colored chapter, that's also, I mean, I guess that's like the thing now, when like a series has that time limit, and then it's the final chapter, it's going to be a fully colored chapter, I'm, I'm assuming. Though I'm not too sure if Bleach is going to get the Shonen Jump, or if Bleach and the Sokoi are going to get the Shonen Jump issue cover. I mean, they should, but when Naruto ended, I believe it was actually Assassination Classroom that got the cover of that issue of Jump for the final chapter of Naruto. So I wouldn't be surprised if Nisokoi or Bleach weren't the headliners for the cover of Shonen Jump, even though it's their final chapters. I mean, that's the way it should be. It, both series should share that cover of Shonen Jump. Will they? Mm, I feel that there's something a little more nefarious going on with Bleach. Because Bleach is not getting the same, like, graceful finale as Naruto did. I mean, granted, Naruto, I could still argue a few things here or there, but no, no. And then, when it came to Assassination Classroom, even though I never read that series before, the author, as far as I understand, that author chose to end that series and then move on to something else. So, those series, they ended, I think, fairly well. Meaning that, like, it was a rushed ending. Like, there was no pressure on Shonen Jump to end their series. Whereas, when it comes to Bleach, given the way the finale has been going thus far, it seems that, like, Bleach, even though it's 680 plus chapters deep, Bleach is getting the Hitman Reborn, the Siren, the Beelzebub treatment. And that shouldn't be the case. Bleach is too far along the road to get the same treatment as those series. I mean, shit, listen. I'm a Toriko fan, right? And all the Toriko guys and gals, we know that Toriko has been getting shafted for a while now. Because we can tell that the story has been going at breakneck speeds. And at some point this year, odds are it's going to end. That's the way I feel. But Toriko is a series that is not far along the road as Bleach. Like, Bleach has been a staple of Shonen Jump for a while now. And I find it a little bit weird. Because I do know that Kubo and his editors are not exactly, like, huge fans of each other. I do know that, at least. Odds are, this friction between him and his editors, as well as, and someone told me this, as well as Bleach not having a cover for a while. This may be the reason why Bleach is having an early end, even though, again, Bleach is so far down the line. And that's really unfortunate, but at the same time, at the same time, it's business. Let me say this. Given the way Toriko was going, given how I've heard news about Gintama ending, Nisokoi ending, Bleach ending, and whatnot, it was apparent to me for a while now 
that, and I said before in like Toriko videos, that there's some type of purge going on when it comes to Shonen Jump. Where like Shonen Jump, they're like scrapping older series or series that have not been that popular to make room for newer series. So in this case, it would be like Boku no Hero Academia, it would be Haikyuu, it would be a series that's coming out really soon. Actually no, it's a series that's coming out like tomorrow, scanlation wise. It's called The Promised Neverland. So there are these new series that are coming out or that have only been around for a few months or a few years, like two or three or four years, and Shonen Jump are trying to push these series, and in order to push these series, they're making room by getting rid of the old school series, like Bleach, like Gintama and whatever, as well as getting rid of series that aren't necessarily that popular. So that's what I think Shonen Jump is doing. Again, like to me, I can understand why you'd wanna do that because I guess from a business standpoint, it makes sense because people can only be fans of a series for so long unless the series gets like promoted a lot, like One Piece, where you have like One Piece trains, where you have like One Piece cafes, you have all One Piece. I mean, One Piece, is an extraordinarily popular series. I mean, it's the cream of a crop in the history of manga. Understand that. One Piece is the cream of the crop in the history of manga. So, of course, One Piece is going to get a lot different treatment than every other series. That makes perfect sense to me. However, again, Bleach is so long-standing and shonen, it's kind of like Bleach should not be getting the Hitman Reborn, the Beatles Above treatment. It makes no sense fucking sense man so someone again mentioned to me that bleach has not had a cover for a while and i'm like is that true so what i did was that i went because i have shonen jump alpha what i did was that i went to their alphabet and i looked at like the past few months to see if bleach had a cover and what i saw as you see before you is uh, no in the past few months bleach has not had a cover of shonen jump Toriko had one in February, and then at that point in time, it's mainly One Piece and Boku no Hero Academia, some Assassination Classroom. Also, there is Boruto, because Boruto came out, and, and of course, that's going to get some push, even though it's the same shit from the freaking movie. Ridiculous. But despite that, Bleach in the past few months has not gotten the cover of Shonen Jump. So uh, there's something going on there, man. When some folks came to me and they're like, yo, like King, you got to do a rant on Bleach. And I'm like, rant? And so I talked to some of the folks and I'm like, let me get like the full scope of this whole thing. And even now, I'm not getting the full scope because, because, and here's the thing, unless Shonen Jump tells us something that we're not aware of, we're never going to get the full scope of this whole situation. And given the way the story's been going, there is no way, there is no fucking way. You don't hype up Hisagi's Bankai, right? And, and then, don't show this man's Bankai. No, 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 no. There is no way in hell Kubo intended for Bleach to end the way it is right now. There is no way. I don't buy that for a fucking second, man. There's too much in-story voids for Kubo to intentionally have these voids in his story and then have Bleach end the way it is. I, I don't buy it for a second. Am I gonna say that this was a wrong move in the grand scheme of Shonen Jump? Because again, you have these series like Haikyuu, like Hero Academy, like, like uh, Shokegi no Soma that are in Japan, they're getting way more sales than Bleach. But again, from my perspective, it's kind of like, dude, like, you can't bitch out Bleach like this. I'll say it one last time in this video. Bleach is too long-standing of a fucking series to be treated like Beelzebub, like Hitman Reborn, like Siren. No. And the reasons why it's being treated this way, I could only imagine. So, I'm done. Alright? I'm done. So, we'll see how these next two chapters turn out. Give me your thoughts on the matter at hand. And when it comes to all the folks out there who are upset, I can see why you're upset. Uh, I mean, shit. I mean, I mean like, to me, the biggest thing here was going back into the Shonen Jump covers and seeing how there was not a single Bleach cover. I was like, oh, shit. Like, bro, whoa. Like, I, I have no idea when the last Bleach cover of Shonen Jump even was. I have no idea. So, I mean, that being said, folks, I'm done. Uh, I'm done. Fuck, man. So, Tate Kubo, you've been good to us Bleach fans. That is for damn sure. Well, no, no, with the exception of the end of the Ranker Saga and the Fullbring arc, you fucking twat. You wanker. 
fucking wanker. I I'm not a goddamn Euro, dude. Listen, that's some bullshit, Kubo. You know that's some bullshit. I'm never gonna live that shit down. Fuck no. Fuck no. And also, some folks want me to do a video on is the final arc of Bleach better than the fourth great ninja war of Naruto? Ooh. So, two more chapters of Bleach, and that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys and gals later for the live reactions, for the reviews, for live streams, which I'll be doing at some point in the near future for Bleach. So, King Lightning, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice goddamn day.